I think you just need to, to take in that you're going to be labeled and judged and people are going to make fun of you no matter what if you're online. Uh, it's just part of what happens. Like me personally, um, so I was listening to, I was watching some video or whatever uh, about some someone who got made fun of and there was an ordeal with it, okay? So someone made fun of someone else. And, and this shit, obviously, it happens all the time. There's a bunch of drama, a bunch of different shit that can happen and escalate and... You know what I'm saying? So for me personally, like, I don't, I, you know, it's weird because I was thinking about if someone could infringe on me and basically how people infringe with like, like personality brand, because you're basically, you know, if you're like a personality, you, you that's your brand, you know, and a lot of people will probably be your fan no matter what, if you got fans and you usually got people that if you if you do your thing and you know if you were good enough to get fans and good enough to maintain them for however long then whatever but so uh basically infringing and and infringing happens all the time and it's basically brand infringing personality infringing whatever you know and it's a, you know it, it's a classic thing that people do and it's basically making yourself look better uh, than other people and I think that some people do it in a way um, that they make other people look less than them to empower them and their fans that they're having a better experience and and a lot of the time if you have fans that'll vouch for you then obviously you must be doing something right but you know I'm just looking at the sort of infringement of it um, but it's, it's kind of weird whenever you think about infringement, because it's like, everybody can be infringing. Like, it's weird. It's like, you can be infringing some, someone or something just by saying something, or you could be infringed just by saying something like you're infringing yourself by even making yourself known because there's just so many things that are popular out there. And things take time to get popular and to, and to push into motion. And, you know, it takes time and it takes effort, you know. Um, <clears throat> but not all the time. I don't know. I'm just talking here, but just thinking about, you know, the whole infringement drama thing. Because it, it really turns into an infringement. It turns almost into this infringement. It turns into this this ordeal of, you know you looking better than other people and so and i and i was thinking about that like say like i got into a like a freestyle battle or you know uh, i got into a joke battle or you know that's essentially what happens it's like so a lot of people don't want to be competitive but how else are you supposed to be successful without being competitive right because if you're not able to bring something that's like good enough, then like people compete against people even if you're not competing. Like even though you're not in an official competition, you're still kind of competing. Um, but that's why it's better. You know, a lot of people just want to be casual about it. But what I'm trying to say is, you know, and, like and some people have jokes. Like you might be funny and you might have jokes, but they're just not. <laughs> Like, you can't just, like, make fun of someone and then, oh, you know, destroy them and you get their fans or something. You know, that's not how it works. But to a certain point, like, it, it's about, well, the person that takes the jokes and stuff, too. You know? Like, if you, if you, if someone does jokes about you and whatever, whatever they say, okay, even if they do some very dirty, like, maybe even violent jokes or maybe even some, like, some very like too far jokes, you know, um, or like jokes where they're obviously like like hate speeching or infringing on you, right? <sighs> or trying to embarrass you, trying to make you look bad, and trying to and, and sometimes people are trying to make other people look bad to make themselves feel better, and then and then you look at legitimate criticisms, like okay, legitimate criticisms of of, of someone's performance, the jokes that they're doing you know, the thing that they did, bada, 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 you know, and sometimes it's like the relevance of anybody being relevant to someone else is by choice and opinion 
and it's by, um, you know, I don't know. Like, I think that when it really comes down to it, if you really want to be someone that's really good, then it takes more than what a lot of people are willing to put in. And they'll just go put themselves out there online. And they just, they're just bad. Um, but for me, like, I, I don't want to talk down on anyone. And I almost don't even care about the entire thing, like anybody being good or bad or how successful or not successful I am. Because I almost am just completely defused to the entire situation to the point where it's just like, you know, just like who gives a fuck whose jokes are better? And I don't give a fuck. Look, look at all the people that have succeeded in comedy or not succeeded. There's a lot of people that were really good that didn't succeed. And there's some people that probably weren't that good, but they still succeeded. You know what I'm saying? It's just like this thing where it's like, dude, seriously, you know, like, is it really like, I guess if it's entertaining you, you know, uh, but here, here's the thing when it comes to my channel is like, I don't really want to be bashed and thrown around on my channel and, you know, stomped on and used and people tell me what to do. And that's supposed to be feedback. You know, like feedback, yeah. Uh, but what? But when it comes to actual logical, you know, conversations and you know, people actually having stuff to say, and and then it feels like I'm being attacked. Like people can be like that. You could just be saying something to them. They could feel like you're attacking them. Um, and I think part of it comes from being attacked so much, because I'm attacked a lot. I'm attacked on the daily. People are attacking me. Every day and every day I go and I delete all the comments when I could just turn the comments off and just, you know, I could just quit if I wanted to, you know, like I don't really, you know, it's this whole idea. It's this idea of sensationalism regarding, you know, performance and, and, and the amount of hilarity you're, you're able to deliver and all this shit. And it's just this big shit storm of, hey, I'm an artist and I don't give a fuck. So you can make fun of me, though, you know, that, and that's what I think, too, because I was thinking about it like, well, you know, if you get if you get popular, eventually people are going to fucking start snake biting you and fucking or I don't know, snake biting you. But, uh, you know, people are going to swarm on you like mosquitoes and, you know, they're going to people are going to make videos about you eventually. But until you reach a certain point, like people don't want to make videos about you if you're not that popular because you're, they're just going to help you. You know, and 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 sometimes but but then again, you know, there's a lot of instances where, you know, people make videos about lesser popular people and those they really doesn't help them at all. And honestly, you know, I've I've seen some streamers like popular streamer stream with less popular streamer and they got a bunch of exposure and it didn't really help them that much. And it, so it's really you know, it's really about how good you are. Um, but then again, it's what you do. Um, but I'm not really talking about t uh, talent dynamics, really. But, you know, the infringing. Um, it's kind of a it's kind of a part of it, to be honest, you know. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I, I want like I might delete your comment if you say something on my page. But if you go and you want to rattle off somewhere else, like I don't care. Like, go do it over there. I'm just trying to, you know, whenever I delete comments, it's like, well, I'm just trying to, like, trying to make it more comfortable that for people that are here so they don't have to read this bullshit. Because, like, if you keep that stuff there, then it can really make people uncomfortable or piss them off or it, it creates drama and unnecessary conflict, which can be good or bad. Because if, if people see that there's controversy surrounding you and they really believe in you, they might devote them more to, to watching you or, you know, make them more of a devoted fan because they believe in you and shit. Um, and so there's that whole idea, right? If you let people say anything on your page, you don't delete anything and you pretty much ignore it, then you just let it sort of sit there and it creates controversy. But, um, you know, I don't think you want to be contra... And that's another thing is... I I was uh you know consider you know I I used to think well I was kind of trying to process you know if you the more controversy you have in your entertainment the better off you'll be but that's not you know people are going to have op opinions and it's it, I think it could be really easy to to make a video 
especially if you don't know, uh, you know, you don't know about a particular thing too much and make yourself look stupid. And a lot of time people say things on my channel and they might be insulting or this or that or the other thing, but to me it just looks really like, like you just, I don't know, like why would you say that particular thing? Or sometimes they're trying to say something that's legit, like, like some observation about the thing I did. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just like, it's not even that it's offending me. I just feel like you have no idea what's going on on my channel because a large part of my channel is it's a lot of experimental stuff, but it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of like artistic peace in a lot of ways. It might look chaotic, but it's more like it is kind of controlled chaos, but it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of done in a way where it's just an art. I'm just an artist, you know, so I do, you know, I do act, I do artist, artistry with acting. So sometimes people might, they, they can say whatever they want, but at the same time, you know, it, it just is what it is. So it doesn't really matter what anyone says, you know, it doesn't matter what anybody says about anything I do because it's, I'm doing it in the right way. And, but a lot of people don't understand that. They they have such a high demand and they're so thirsty and hungry for things that they just, you know, there's they just jump jump the gun. Um and uh without really, you know, you know, th th I guess a part of it's just a huge, you know, a huge part of the internet has become so dramatic and and uh centered around labels and criticisms and this this high this high demand or this high awareness of what's going on um but that's not for everyone not everyone is so fine tuned or really dialed in like that especially intellectually in fa in fact there's a lot of people that are not intellectually connected at all and that's why some people fail to connect with those people um but yeah infringing infringing and that's another thing i think Sometimes only intellectual people can infringe on other people because that's the part of the reason why they're, they're intelligent because they have a logical explanation or reasoning that makes them empowered in their thought process. Now, they have superior thoughts, which makes them feel like they're an individual. It's just like if someone has muscles and that makes them, you know, so, yeah. You know, it's...